Hey, hey, hey. Hello, friends. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. I forgot to get an ambient room ready. And I thought I would do it ahead of time so that I could make sure that it wasn't going to have um, mid-roll ads. I think I found one that doesn't, but we shall see. Hi. Hello. My hair is funny. I'm glad to see you guys on a Saturday night. I like to mix it up between Sunday and Saturday because just because that's just how it works out sometimes. Um, so sorry for the late notice. It's kind of like a pop-up, pop-up reading sprints. I just announced it a little while ago. Um, so glad to see 70 of you here already. <laughs> so good to see you. I actually don't have a book that I'm currently reading. So for the first sprint or two, I'm going to be doing other things like putting away the laundry that I folded this afternoon and cleaning up dinner. And I bought a shelf for my bathroom that I need to finish putting together because it's all over my living room. And I did read two books today. So earlier today, all morning, it was very, very rainy. And so I just kind of like didn't get all the things done that I wanted to this morning. But I read book two, two, Patina and Sunny. Book two and three in the track series by Jason Reynolds. I listened to both of these today. So I feel productive <laughs> because I'm now a book ahead. I've finished 24 books so far in March. And it's only the 23rd. So I might start Lou, which is the fourth it's the fourth one in the track series, and that would finish that series. But I also hope before the end of the night, I hope to sit down and start the Middle Grade March group read, Mona Lisa Vanishes, because our discussion about this is on Wednesday. But I also have editing to do and all those other things I already mentioned. So we'll see <laughs> what I get up to. But if my screen goes blank... <laughs> black during the reading sprint time, you'll know it's because I'm running around getting things done around my house or editing and need to pull my computer closer to my face. And that's just not a pretty view for anybody. But hi, I want to say hello to everybody. Judy is here. I've been hanging out with Judy this weekend over on Patreon. Good to see you again. Yeah. What is everyone reading tonight? Hi, Sylvia. Hi, Jen going to be reading Inside Out and Back again. So good. Maria is here. Hello, Maria. Starting a new book. This one has been on my TBR since 2019 and is on my books that will self-destruct in 2025 list. The Gilded Girl by Alyssa Coleman. Mm. I hope that it starts out good and draws you right in. Rereading Oathbringer. Fun. Another Patreon friend that I'm hanging out with this weekend. Kim, good to see you. Hello from rainy Rhode Island. It's been rainy here in Virginia too. Working on Amari and the Night Brothers. I found the audio for Amari and the Great Game on script, but have a couple others. I mean, I still have, it's the 23rd. I still have eight days. So it's possible I could still read Amari and the Great Game, but I have a few others. I need to finish first. So we'll see if that one gets read this month. After I recover from bawling my eyes out at the first episode of the new season, of oh, my word, I love that show. Wolf Hollow. Good. I love that one. Ready or not. Super sweet romance. Two open door moments. Okay. Thanks for the heads up on the little bit of steam. Hi, Lisa. Reading Killers of the Flower Moon. Better than the movie. Very cool. Kathleen is reading Wild Robot. So lovely. Such a good story. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you. Thank you. And I love your little, your picture. That is so cute. So cute. Hey, Nikita. Good evening. Raining here. It's not raining here now. It was earlier, though. First, we'll be reading one act from a Shakespeare play and then flight. Nice. Hello. Hello, Hannah. Reading a million things, starting with Till There Was You by Lindsay Hammeroff. 
Nice. I don't know what that is. I hope you like it. <laughs> On the edge of the dark sea of darkness. Yep. I read that two, three years ago and never finished the rest of the series. This is a problem that I have in my life. <laughs> you are all very aware, I'm sure. Hi, Chris. Hoping to make some progress on Killers of the Flower Moon. I think you probably will. Grim Reader by Kate Carlisle. Fun. I don't know what that is either. Dark Matter. Did you like Dark Matter, Amy? Starting everyone on this train as a suspect. I just finished A Place to Hang the Moon, and I'm hoping to finish the most. The Mona Lisa Vanishes tonight. How did you like A Place to Hang the Moon? It's so good. Oh, I love it. Hey, Sharon. Going to start Murder on Mulberry Bend, number five in the Gaslight Mystery Series. Fun. Yay. Oh, talking to hello Shayna. Should be picking up Throne of Glass because I'm way behind. If you want to finish it before the discussion, but really wanting something easier tonight. Yeah. I mean, take a little break. Get back to it tomorrow. We'll see. <laughs> Mostly working tonight, but might take a few minutes here and there to read. Listen slowly. I have not read that one yet, but I do like her. Hello. From a very snowy southern Alberta, my word. All of these people are still getting snow. I mean, it's only March, so it makes sense, but I'm very thankful that's not where I live. <laughs> what I Promised by Liz Tolzma. Hello, Susan. And Suzanne is reading The Women by Kristen Hanna. Nice. Hi, Joanna. Mona Lisa Vanishes and Murder Road. Sweet. Reading the number one ladies detective agency. Hi, Katie. Hello, Nancy. Reading what she left behind. My goodness. That, I think that was my first Ellen Marie Wiseman. It was good. It was a really good one. Who, <laughs> right? Not cute. Not cute at all. <laughs> also just finished a book, so I'll have to pick up a new one tonight. That's fun. It's a good place to be. I was, um... On Goodreads earlier today, because I just filmed this afternoon my anticipated reads for the spring. So I was getting the pictures and checking it, reminding myself of the summaries and all that. And I have nothing in my currently reading right now. I have no books that I've started and I'm in the middle of. It's so bizarre because sometimes I have four, five, six, seven <laughs> books that I've started and I have nothing in there right now, which is very weird for me. But it is what it is. <laughs> Rereading The Four Winds and Listening to Natchez Burning by Greg Isles. Cool. Oh, yay for Keeper, Stacy. I'm excited for you to read that. I'm curious what you'll think of Ruby Holler. That's a Sharon Creech that I have not yet read. And The Blade itself. Nice. Cold Blooded Myrtle. And really enjoying the series. Is that the second one? Because I just read the first one and it was so cute. It was so. It was so much fun. I really enjoyed the first one. This ain't no promised land. Do it, girl. You got it. Tonight's the night. Hi, Noreen. The Wishing Game for Book Club and the Lonely Hearts Book Club. Nice. So many good books. Hey, you're welcome, Susan. Start writing them down, right? Or get your Goodreads open and just add them to your want-to-read list. Expiration Dates by Rebecca Searle. Nice. No, I don't know what that one is. Good evening, everyone. Hi, Pat. Don't know what you're going to read tonight. Been fighting a migraine. Oh, man. Have four books from the library that have to be returned in 10 days. Stack up. Maybe do try a chapter and see which one draws you in the most and start with that one. But also, if you have a migraine, maybe just take a shower in the dark, like a really hot shower. That's my favorite thing to do when I have a migraine. Not a shower to get clean. But just a shower to let the let the hot water like bang on my head <laughs> and my neck and my shoulders. Oh, I love taking a hot shower in the dark, especially because sometimes with a migraine, right? Your eyes don't like the bright lights. So that would be my tip. <laughs> also, if you've ever used those ice, Lindsay told me about this from Lindsay's Little Library. It's like a, it's the weirdest thing. It's like a gel cap that goes around your head. You keep it in the, my cousin keeps hers in the freezer. I keep mine in the fridge and you just put it on your head 
and it squeezes your head. So it gives you the compression, but it's cold. It's freezing cold. Oh, that feels good too. Alternate hot shower, cold cap, finishing up snowed in by Catherine Walsh. When stars are scattered, still choosing another one. Yeah. Love that. Molly, I hope you're liking when stars are scattered. Hi to Shannon reading Penny Reed Ninja. Penny Reed Ninja at first sight. I just, I just started with the capitalized ones. Penny Reed's book Ninja at first sight. <laughs> Eight inches of snow today. Oh my Lanta. No, thank you. No, ma'am. <laughs> Couldn't buy a flake all winter. Now that it's spring, we get over half a foot, right? <clears throat> Hi, Connie. Just finished Mona Lisa Vanishes. And I'm now reading Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. It seems to be a fast read. Sweet. Hopefully it can also fit in length of a string. Nice. Finley Donovan. Hi, Kathleen. Does the book have pictures? Yeah, it really does. It has a lot. <clears throat> um, Not a lot. It does have like little ones like this. It has Actually, it has quite a few illustrations. Oh, there you go. It's very, very cute. So yes, it does have pictures, but I've heard the audio is very good. Judy, did you like the audio? Don't forget the thumbs up everyone. <laughs> no worries, Molly. I'm glad you had, hopefully you had fun with your friend. Snowden has some very open romance scenes. Good to know. Wish in the dark. Oh, I love it listening to Mona Lisa Vanishes. I can't get Mona Lisa Vanishes on audio right now. I should have put it on hold a long time ago, but I did not. Just finished Sweep. Yeah, it is a five-star read for me as well, Angela. Oh, yay. That makes me happy that you loved it. Another When Stars Are Scattered reader. Raining here. Perfect night for sprints. Perfect. Out of the easy. I enjoyed that one, but it's not my favorite, Ruta Sepetis. But I just love her, so I still enjoyed it. Hi, Linda. I like Glockta. Okay, different book. Yay! Place to Hang the Moon was perfect. Reading Salt to the Sea, another Ruta Sepetis. Hi, Sam. The War That Saved My Life. Fantastic. Secret Book of Flora Lee. Did you like it? I really enjoyed that one. Had some snow yesterday, but it didn't stick. Oh my word. I'm going to text my mom during the first sprint and see how much snow she got. Because she also lives in more like central New York. If you're like up, she might not have got quite that much, but I bet she got some. She lives like in kind of Oswego, Syracuse, Fulton, in that area, central, right on towards the lake, kind of. A man called Uva. Nice. Get your tissues ready. Hope in Times of Fear and Tom Lake. Reading Anne. And her winter chatter makes me crazy. I switched to Ivan. Both are lovely. You just, yeah, I know not everybody can handle Anne's personality, but the more I read it as an adult, and I have reread it many times, I just love Marilla more and more. Like, I will always love Anne. And yes, yeah, she does She does get pretty chatty. <laughs> Her imagination goes a little crazy. And she's a little flowery in how she speaks. But Marilla is the queen of that book. Oh, I love her. Hey, one is, first one is the second Mrs. Asher. Hi, Jenny. Been in a slump. Boo. <laughs> Denise, grab a couple books. Just like look at your shelves or something you're in the middle of and just do like a little bit in each of them, like a try a chapter or until something jumps out at you. That's my tip. Reading two books. Okay. We did that already. Cold Blooded Myrtle is book three. Okay. I loved that in the audio, they still said footnote. They still like read the footnotes, which I was thankful for. An opening chapter facts. Fun. Finished Mona Lisa, really enjoyed it. Reading Refugee Tonight, fabulous. Coyote Sunrise for my goddaughter for Easter. I really need to read the second one. 
there you go. The reason why ice works for migraines is because the cold constructs your blood vessels and decreases the, <laughs> the blood flow to your brain. I think it, the heat also works for me because my migraines are often tension stress related. So loosening up these muscles with the heat and then doing the cold thing, both of those things help me a lot. So it just depends on how and why you get your migraines, if you know. But yeah, that's that's a good explanation, Emily. I appreciate it. <laughs> Still reading A Tale of Witchcraft. Sometimes I miss the North and then I see it's still snowing in March. <laughs> exactly, Shayna. I hear you. <laughs> My lucky charm. It looks so cute, Stephanie. I really, I missed like reading them with the holidays, right? So my funny Valentine, is that the first one? The Valentine one came first and then My Lucky Charm. Those are by Courtney Walsh. I definitely want to read those. The audio is good for Mona Lisa. Hi, Rena. Hope to finish reading The Baroness Affair. A historical romance. Fun. Reading Kate Morton's Homecoming and the children's book. The Little Bookworm by Eleanor Fargion. I don't know what that is, but sounds cute. Yes. We're on the same same wavelength, Sarasha. Got the graphic novel of Keeper of the Lost Cities. I, yeah, definitely. I enjoyed it. It kind of it was fun to re revisit the start of the series. So much happens in all those books that it was kind of fun to go back to the beginning. I liked it. I love Marilla. <laughs> Chapter 11 of Keeper and went and some bought book two or borrowed book two. Loving it so far. Good. Finally made it. Hi, Cassie. Lucky Dark Matter. Hoping it ends in a way that I want it to. I hope you finish it tonight because I want to hear your thoughts. It's been so long since I read that one. Um, you didn't forget, Christy. I just posted it like two hours ago. <laughs> so it's kind of a last minute. I mean, I decided this afternoon and then I didn't even post it until after five. So my bad. It's kind of like surprised. <laughs> Doing sprints tonight. Reading book two of Keeper. Love it. Paid Bards and Noble a visit today. Got lots of goodies. I was cleaning out my wallet the other day and found a Barnes & Noble gift card. So looks like I'm going to Barnes & Noble soon too. <laughs> Reading the Women by Kristen Hanna for a book discussion. Love. Would love a book with nothing but Marilla-isms. Words to live by. That would be fun. Is it changing the weather? Yeah, I think it's a combo of all kinds of things. Oh, it is changing the weather. That's what yours is. Okay. Yesterday in the 50s, today high 60s, tomorrow back in the 50s. Yeah, spring will do it to you. Add in like some seasonal allergy business and it's just not a fun time of year for some people. But the trees are flowering here and that's lovely. <laughs> just finished when, where, where the mountain meets the moon. I think it's where, when, where, where the mountain meets the moon. It's beautiful. Did you like it, Darlene? I enjoyed that one a lot. I liked all the um, folktale stories that are kind of woven into it. I thought that was cool. I have the other ones. When the Sea Turned to Silver in Starry River of the Sky by Grace Lynn. I want to read those too. I have medication to take for migraines, but it takes me very, makes me very sleepy and the next day sleepy too. Oh, I only do Excedrin migraine, but I don't get them super duper often. So Excedrin migraine works for me. But yeah, I hope that you're able to get it gone. <laughs> well, look who's here, Amanda. <sighs> yes, yeah, where? And you loved it. Oh, good. Love, love, love. All right, cool. Well, we are ready to go. Perfect. Didn't take too long to greet everybody and get everyone in here and settled. Um, again, I don't have a book listed because I'm not reading for the first sprint. I need to put dinner away, put some clothes away, work on a shelf that I bought today, do some editing. Like I just have a lot of things that need to get done. 
So I will still put on an ambient room and I will still like obviously do sprints, but I'm not going to be reading for the first sprint and a half, maybe. So it's 52. Oh, let's go till 02, 12. Let's go till 15. We'll start with a relatively small one, a little warm up, if you will. Exercise those reading muscles. <laughs> Nope, it's not the last sprint. Let me take that off. Sorry. Okay, so we'll just go till quarter after. It'll be like a 22 minute sprint, little warm up sprint. And I will see. Amanda is working on a puzzle and listening to the group read. Okay. And Emily used to take Toradol. Oof. Thankfully, I've not had to have medication, but we're going to the library tonight for our ambient, ambience. I don't like that word. I never know how to say it. <laughs> ambient room, ambiance. We're going to a library because I didn't feel like rain again today. Sometimes I do. Today, I did not. It might have rain, actually, now that I can hear it. But let's do this one. All right, see you back here in 20-ish minutes.
All right, all right, all right. Come on back. Oh, man. <laughs> I had set an alarm in the other room, and then I forgot to turn it off, so I had to yell to turn it off. Um, there we go. Hi. Welcome back. How'd you do? Oops. Turn that off. I put my dinner food away. I didn't do the dishes yet, but I put the food away, put a little bit of clothes away, worked a little bit on the shelf that I'm going to build this evening, <laughs> hopefully, and started Lou. And I texted my mom. She got snow today. I said, did you get snow today? She said, yep. <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> I want to know how much. She's so funny. So Amanda, if you're still here, I read, I think I told you already today. I read both Patina and Sunny. Of the two, I liked Patina better. But they're all really good. Really, really good. I love this series. Um, how did everybody else do? Holy moly, there's a lot of comments to catch up on. Y'all were chatting during that chat break. <laughs> reading break. Favorite line of Anne so far is, I'm glad I live in a world where there are Octobers. Classic. Classic line. Hi, Melissa. Just cleaned and once I put baby down for his last nap. Hope to read a little bit of A Royal Pain by Reese Bowen. Love it. Amanda, how much snow are you going to get? I'm going to read Mona Lisa. Wonderful. Hi, Maria. We'll start with chores too and figure out what I will read. <laughs> And Anne, I love Matthew. Yes, Matthew is the kindest soul. 10 to 12 inches. Oh, my word. No, no, ma'am. A whole bunch of you guys reading Mona Lisa tonight. Starting Lemon Curd Killer by Laura Childs. Read some more of Love Walked Among Us. Nice. Finished Dark Matter. Wild Ride and I enjoyed it. It is one of those books you really want to discuss with someone else. Yeah. One loose end. Okay. I remember just like my mind being so twisted up. I'm <laughs> like, wait a minute. <laughs> so crazy. 13%. Good job. 22 pages. Stacy, love that. Almost finished two chapters. These chapters are long. Yeah. I personally prefer short chapters as well. <laughs> Definitely. 11 pages of the women, almost done reading act two of Measure for Measure. Uh, yes, I am loving them very much. The audiobooks are so good too. Got to chapter five in The War That Saved My Life, Breaking My Heart. I know, especially at the beginning. Like there will be other parts that break your heart too, but the mom just makes me so angry. Oh, my mom said where she is, is like in between. She's like, Oswego got more and Syracuse got a lot yesterday. It keeps missing us. <laughs> nice. Ended up reading a few pages of Throne of Glass. I think I'm going to stick with this one because my other option is Echo, which you think you want to binge on audio tomorrow. Good choice then, Shayna. Good choice. Hopefully once you get into Throne of Glass, you'll just like be back in that world and it will be good. Started dinner. Read a few pages of a Star Wars middle grade. Fun. What's for dinner, Lisa? Tonight I did a HelloFresh meal. It was sausage, kale, one pot soup, chicken sausage and kale. It had couscous in it and like garlic and onion and carrots. It was a soup. It was delicious. And it came with a ciabatta to toast and make into garlic bread. It was delicious. So good. And it says that like I just get the one that's supposed to be just two meals I can definitely have three, possibly four bowls of soup out of what it made. Um, so that's good. Bonus. <laughs> Makes it cheaper in the long run. Read four pages of having a cup of cocoa. Nice. Ten pages left in part one of Inside Out and Back Again and transferred laundry to the dryer. Perfect. Started Mona Lisa. The audio is great. Nice. Couple chapters of Mona Lisa, really enjoying it. Such a quick read. 
I, you guys are making me want to like get into that one, but I have to get these other things done first. Started Bookshop of Dust and Dreams. I did recently buy that one. I have not yet read it. <laughs> Having a little trouble getting into it. Okay. That's good. Kind of a heads up to remember. Got caught up on all my Goodreads reviews. Only read a page or two before you called us back. Good job getting caught up though. That's great. Reading Anne for the first time in April for Chantel's Read Your Bookshelf reading prompt. Yay! 14 more percent of my book. Got two more chapters read. Love that. Very good. I also brought myself in a little treat, a little Saturday night margarita. Does not go with sausage soup, but I already ate. I'm done eating now. So I'm just going to have this and then water for the rest of the night. Well, this will take me the rest of the night to drink, but little margarita. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> less oh yay it's so cute it's such a sweet story i absolutely love it oh slow to, slow to start but you enjoyed it of uh, fur bookshop of dust and dreams good to know jen yes it's so good if you have anyone in your life that you can do it as a read aloud with <laughs> it makes for a really really good read aloud I read it to the kids when I was nannying a family of four kids during the pandemic shutdown. Um, I was helping with their homeschool on the two day. I was there only Monday and Wednesday. So on Mondays, and Wednesdays, I did school with them too. So we had like reading time as like after lunch because they were mostly too old for a nap. Right. So we just kind of did a quiet chill time after lunch every day. And also because I just needed a break. <laughs> but during that time, part of what we did was a read aloud. and I. One of the books I read with them was Wild Robot, and we all loved it very much. And it's fun because it has a lot of pictures that are so cute. Um, did you guys see that there's an adaptation coming? I don't know when it's coming out. Um, but yeah, there's going to be an adaptation. I'm so excited. I'm going to look it up so I can tell you the actual info. Wild Robot. And I saw a trailer. You can watch a trailer on YouTube. Do it during the next sprint. It's so delightful. Amanda showed it to Katie and I after one of our lives this month. Oh, release date, September. Looks like it'll come out in September, the adaptation. But go do yourself a favor and go watch the trailer because it looks so cute. So cute. Oh, my gosh. Um, finished it last week, enjoyed it, but thought it was a uh, dragged a little in the beginning as well. Okay. You guys good to know. Finished note in was good enough. <laughs> now, I, now I will start or finish another book. Well, those are your options. Start or finish. <laughs> I love it. Good to know. Yes. It is a huggable book. I agree. Homemade egg rolls and a margarita. Yay for a margarita. <laughs> yeah. I, I love it. I actually just put the third book on hold at the library. Because I thought I already owned it, but I bought myself two copies of the second one, which I've already read. So I don't have the third one and I haven't read it yet, but I would love to finish that series. Dozens and dozens of times. Oh, that's cute, Rhonda. I know. We both started crying at the table. Yeah, Katie and I both started crying when Amanda showed us the trailer. Who's surprised? I was not surprised. Because I know the book made me tear up a couple times too. So, read Wild Robot to my class of fourth graders. The movie's in September and the kids want us to go watch the movie together. Aw, that would be so sweet. Field trip. <laughs> That's fun. You could totally make that into a field trip, right? I mean, I don't know if you could, but. That would be a good field trip. And then talk about it afterwards. Learn how to draw it. My mom and I had OM. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Sorry, Jenny. <laughs> Happy Saturday. I'm glad you're having sprints tonight because I really want to get the Mona Lisa finish. Vanishes. Finished. Look at you guys and all of your... Um, 
like Pixar type, not all of you, a couple of you have these cute little pictures on your <laughs> photos. I need to get one of those. <laughs> How do I get it? Oh, omelet. There we go. You just didn't finish typing. That's okay. Omelets are delicious. I love an omelet for supper. Breakfast for dinner makes me happy. <laughs> breakfast for lunch. Breakfast for breakfast. I had a bowl of cereal for lunch today because I ate breakfast rather late. And then I spent hours and hours listening to two audiobooks and I forgot. Two o'clock, 2.30. No, it was like three o'clock came around. And finally I was like, oh, I should probably eat some lunch. I read the front desk. Hi, Kim. Kimberly, do you prefer one or the other? Front desk for the immigrant prompt and loved it so much. Five stars. Yeah, it's a good one. I would. That's another series I would like to continue. I need to add that to my series um, thing. <laughs> Spreadsheet. I don't think I have front desk on there. Series. Just going to make a note of it so I remember. Front desk and wild robot i don't think i have wild robot on here either do i oh yeah i do have wild robot i just don't have front desk um make your pixar pick on canva oh i will have to figure that out <laughs> play around you have a daughter that loves to be creative. There you go. <laughs> it's so cute. I just love it. I just love it. I hit enter before I finish. No worries. No worries. Um, I didn't come prepared with anything to like chat about in between times. So we're just going to dive right into another sprint and go with the flow tonight. Maybe we'll get lots of reading done. I'm going to go get my screwdriver and go back out and work on my shelf a little bit. I have a little bit more clothes to put away. I just kind of did bits and pieces last time and I'm going to do it again so that hopefully on the third sprint I can sit and actually get a little reading, but I can listen while I work on the shelf and put clothes away. So I will listen to Lou by Jason Reynolds. I should add that to my little thing, but it is eight 30. Let's do right up until the hour. Let's do a half an hour. So let's read right up until the top of the hour. Perfect. Get a good 30 minutes in. All right. I will see you back here in a few.
All right, all right. Come on back, my friends. How did you go on that sprint? How did it go? How did it go? How did you do? I combined it. Um, I made good progress on putting my shelf together. I listened to Lou. I'm in chapter, I'm almost done with chapter four. And at 2.0 speed, which is what I'm listening at, I have an hour and 58 minutes left. Um, and it's, it's good. So it'll be fun to knock out the whole rest of that series and get one more series off of my list. That'll be great. Um, and I made, yeah, I made some good progress on my shelf. I started, I had a book love chat. Um, my patrons and I are doing two books this month for March. So we had a chat today. So I got that downloading ready to go so I can add it to YouTube and then send it to them. But I can't edit. I forgot. <laughs> I can't edit while on sprints because you'll hear it. So that's a bummer because I was kind of counting on that. I should have done some editing earlier today. But I don't have to go to church until 11 tomorrow. So if I just get up early, I should be able to have time to edit and get a video up. That's the plan now, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. How did everybody else do, though, during that sprint? Um, book fan got to 19%. Good evening, Sue. Jenny read six more pages. Nikita finished reading Act 2 of Measure for Measure. After that, spent the rest of the time sharing with your husband your thoughts of what you read. I love that. Reading Birding to Change the World. That sounds interesting. Is that a nonfiction? Didn't read. Played Spot It with my girls. It's such a... I like that game. It's like with the circle cards, right? With all the pictures on there and you got to try to be the first one to find it. It is a good one. Just joining. I even do it with my little dude. He's only three and a half. So he doesn't quite get games yet. And competition is hard because he pitches a fit if he doesn't win. <laughs> but we just kind of take turns flipping over a card and finding the match. So we still kind of play, but not as a competition. We're not collecting more than the other person. We just we just take turns spotting the match. Hello, Dolores. Just joining. Reading Kill for Me, Kill for You by Steve Cavanaugh. Nice. Sounds very murdery. <laughs> 30 pages for Stacy. Finished a short story by David Sedaris. Nice. Finished Wild Robot. Now I need the next book. Ooh, do you need help picking, Kathleen, or do you already have a plan for what's next? Halfway through, Nothing But the Truth. I just started. It's a quick read. Isn't that Avi? Nothing But the Truth. I think that's an Avi book. I've not read that one, but I have it. <laughs> Less than 100 pages to go. Probably finish tonight. Yay. 15 more pages in The Women. Good job, Suzanne. Laura read A Chapter in Love Walks Among Us. Got some laundry put away. Katie, hello. On page 15 of The Mona Lisa Vanishes. 50 pages left of wind stars are scattered. Yeah, it is so good. Wait till you get to the end and you see the pictures of the actual boys. Oh, so it's such a good story. Such a good story. 100. Got to page 100 of Mona Lisa plus Supper. You can mute us and edit. We can deal. <laughs> oh, mute the ambient, the ambient room. Nah. It's okay. I'll edit later. It's, it's fine. I have plenty of other things I had on my list as well. So it's okay. Hey, Amanda. Going to be finishing up The Love Wager. Just started reading Wild Oak on chapter four. It's a memoir. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Um birding to change the world. Okay. I had to go back and see which one you were talking about. 
read about 10 pages, keep having to look things up. <laughs> I'm just not following Mass's writing very well, hoping it gets better. I don't get along with her writing either. Um, are you, you're reading it in print. I think it might work better on audio. I just, I don't know, maybe. I've never read the Throne of Glass series though. I only read the first two in the next series. That was way too much. Too, too many for me. On page 40, only 1,200 pages more to go. Good grief, Judy. You love those chunkamonka books. I'm really enjoying hope in times of fear. Love reflecting on the resurrection and Easter. It's coming up fast. It is, Amanda. That's on, what is that? Hope in times of fear. I'm going to have to look that one up. Five more pages for Catherine. Because hope is my word of the year in times of fear. Oh, Timothy Keller. The Resurrection and the Meaning of Easter. Oh, nice. That's cool. Nice little Easter read, preparing for Easter. Reading Ferris. I still need to read the Beatrice Prophecy by her. I can't believe I haven't read that yet. Two chapters and everyone on this train is suspect. Already interesting. Didn't realize the author is a comedian. Love it. Keeping you company at the laundromat. Well, I love that. Happy to keep you company. Changed my mind what I'm going to read next sprint. Instead of flight, I'll be reading The Riddle of Pencroft Farm by Dorothea Jensen, a middle grade book my husband recommended for me. I don't know that one. Is it a classic? Is it an older book? The Riddle of Pencroft Farm. It sounds like a classic, but I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll look that one up too. <laughs> Riddle. Are any of you, oh, I spelled it wrong. Um, so in April, oh yeah, that looks like a classic. <laughs> Has a funny looking, like, it <laughs> reminds me of like old photo. Like someone looking off into the distance. <laughs> Fun. You'll have to let me know how that goes. Um, I had a question. I'll get back to it. I've, it sounds really windy outside. Holy moly. 35 pages left in Mona Lisa. So I'll finish on the next sprint. But right now I'm looking at Google images of Florence. Trying to figure out if I recognize any of the sites from the book. Oh, cool. That's cool. I was going to ask, oh, if any of you are doing any readathons or read-alongs or anything in April, I typically scale way back in April and give myself room to mood read after doing, after shooting for a book a day in middle grade March. Um, so I'm curious, but I'm, I'm but I'm open if there are any fun readathons going on that you guys are participating in, let me know. Maybe I'll join you. I don't know. Yeah, I don't have anything on the horizon. I just filmed my TBR today, though, and I'm very excited um, about what I have planned for the month. And that might be enough because I think there's eight books on my TBR. But even that, even on a normal month, I read usually 10 to 12. Maybe April will be the month that I pick up Words of Radiance. Maybe that's what I need to do. Because that's a, that's a chunk. And just like dive into a really thousand page book for a couple days. And by a couple days, I mean like a couple weeks. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. I'm reading in print. The audio hold was super long at the library. Okay. Yeah. I think there are, she's probably a very good storyteller, but there are better writers. I mean, I just don't like her writing style in general. So after reading Mona Lisa Vanishes, I became interested in the Da Vinci history 
found a historical middle grade about Mona Lisa by E.L. Conningsberg, the second Mrs. Giacona. Gonna try to fit it in. Oh, that's cool, Katie. I don't, I'm not familiar with that. I know E.L. Conningsberg, that's the author of the mixed up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweiler. Basil, Basil. So that's fun. Should be a good kind of read alike, something to get to get a little more info. That would be cool. Nobody has any readathons, read alongs, plans. I just haven't been watching a ton of booktube, so I don't know what's out there. I did see someone's doing like one that's based on the 90s flashback, something flashback. Readathon, something along those lines. I forget what it's called. Excuse me. Um, but I haven't seen anything else. Oh, yeah. I think I've seen this too. Um, is Elizabeth, Lizzie Faye Loves Books. Is she doing that? I'll cut April. A-L-C-O. That's a fun one. Bookish Princess. Kelly Reads a Lot. Beautiful Minutia. There's a few people that I see. Novel Idea. Dia, that's who I'm thinking. Okay. That's a, that's a possibility. Something. I don't. I think the only one I might have that I could read for that are like um retellings because I have Megan what's it called Megan Joe Megan Beth Joe and Lori Megan Beth Megan Amy Megan Beth Joe and Lori I forget there's a retelling duology that I have that might be fun to squeeze in a, a copy of the second Mrs. on my shelf I might try and get to it this month fun I think April needs to be a mood read month for me after doing three straight months of readathons. I, I like the idea of mood reading. You guys tell me if you guys are mood readers or do you prefer a TBR or a combo? I feel like I'm a combo because I like having a huge TBR so I could read what my mood is in the moment based off of what's on my TBR. Cause just this is, I can't imagine not having some kind of a plan with so many books on my shelves. But yeah, I don't know if I could do sh completely straight, don't make a TBR, just mood read. I don't know if I could do that. I don't know. Read whatever I want because it's your birthday month. Well, that's fun. Happy early birthday with Kelsey at Slime and Slashers. Okay. There's a, there's a readathon with Kelsey, I guess. Katie. Oh yeah. A Katie is doing one. Shower me with flowers. That's right. I have not, I'm so behind in watching videos that I haven't seen her announcement. Sorry, Katie, if you're still here. Um, I've seen it, but I haven't actually watched it. <laughs> That's right. Magical Readathon by Book Roast. Old School April. That's the one. A lot of Elcott's books are on audio. Retellings will be fun. Katie at Books and Things is doing a clear out. TBR clear out readathon. Yeah. Combo people unite. <laughs> so Stacy, how do you do it? Like, do you just read one book at a time? And when you're done with that book, you just look at your shelves and be like, what do I want to read right now? Okay. This one. Or do you have multiple things going at a time? I don't know. I just can't wrap my mind around how it would work for me. I love, I love a TBR and that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm just curious. I'm like you, Krista. I like to read in April after middle grade March, but then I come across another readathon, right? Mood reader for sure. Combo. Mood read all the way, but mostly it's whatever comes in from the library. Yeah. Pile of possibilities. Sometimes there's something I need to read, but I like room to mood read too. Yeah. 
I like, that's how I have been doing it lately. So I do my flip and roll, which is five books because I roll five times. I usually have two books for Patreon and one book for my 12 in 24. That's eight. And then if there are any other readathons or buddy reads scheduled, that's on top of that. That's my TBR list for the month. But I usually read more like 12 or 13 books. So there is a little room for picking up whatever. But I don't know. Make a pile that's undoubtedly bigger than I can get to. But then I pick from that pile. Yeah. Mostly from my shelf. That's my goal always, Denise. I always am trying mainly to read from my shelves. I try and do a TBR, but it never works. 100% a mood reader. <sighs> Love it. I'm such a mood reader. Usually I have two to three options for readathon prompts because I'm such a mood reader. Had a TBR stack sitting on my desk for months and still haven't touched it. <laughs> I was trying to read mostly middle grade books this month, but already abandoned them. Hey, that's totally fine. Hi, Kelsey. Good evening. Just got back from vacation. Oh, man. Yay. Welcome. What are you, what are you reading? Where did you go? How was your vacation? I usually need a vacation from my vacation. <laughs> it's always hard to make that adjustment back to reality. Susan is definitely a mood reader. I've heard there's Amish April. Okay. Oh man, I used to read a ton of Amish fiction back in the day. Combo. Well, I used to live in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. So Amish fiction was everywhere. And the Amish were everywhere. So it was fun to like read books set right where I was living. Combo, trying to read everything on my cart this year. So that's my TBR for the year, but still getting books from the library. Absolute mood reader. Read what I want, when I want. No TBR, just a running list of suggestions. Love it. I have to have a planned TBR. Yeah. I'm truly, I'm not truly a mood reader. I'm participating in Magical Readathon, but a few others that are year long readathons. Okay, cool. I'm a mood reader. I can do a seasonal TBR, but monthly is too much for this mood reader. Gotcha. I've never done a seasonal TBR. I've only ever done monthly ones. Most of my books are from the library, so it's mood reading based on whatever comes in, right? Those books with a sprinkle of books that I own. Lifelong mood reader. Spent 45 minutes in an MRI machine yesterday. Oh, no. I hope you're okay, Katie. Really looking forward to the new Finley Donovan. Abby Jimenez has a new release on April 2nd. Mm -hmm. She sure does. From there, anything is possible. Definitely a combo. More of a mood reader, but enjoy having some books in mind from different genres. Nice. Love making TBRs, but I don't stick to them. Pick up whatever I want. Needs a reading way too many books at once. Yeah, I've decided to, I think I've mentioned it a couple times in videos. Whatever I pick for my my game, flip and roll, those five books are staying on my TBR until I read them each month. So that's kind of fun. <laughs> so that's like a extended TBR. Like when I get done with the books on my TBR, I would look there first to see if any of those strike my fancy. Used to be one book at a time person. Currently a five in print that I'm reading and one audio. Holy moly. That's a lot. Six at a time. I just look at my titles and pick up what I feel like reading. I love that. Participating in Katie's book body read because I like the book. I usually have four or five going at the same time since I'm a mood reader. I used to be a mood reader. But then would get stuck on what to read next. Now I have books pre-chosen for a year-long challenges, plus a TBR jar of all the other unread books on my shelves. So that is not mood reading because that's like you pick it out and you got to read it. Or do you just like, nope, I don't feel like that one. And stick it back in and pick a different one. <laughs> just got back from Phoenix. Nice. Definitely need a vacation from vacation. Lots of pool time and sun for this Midwest girl. Perfect. Because I think you came home to snow, didn't you? Reading the new Leaf Anger tonight. Oh, nice. I pulled together a seasonal TBR stack and try and pull from that. Plus whatever my book club is reading. Always end up reading one or two or three or four that are not on the list. Same. 
So I, I, that's why I say I'm a combo because I love my TBR, but I also love to have a little bit, a little bit of mood reads. Yeah. You know, I'm a rude mood reader. just haven't been in the mood in months. Oh, <laughs> did finally finish one last week and I'm on the list for a couple at the library. There you go. Hopefully one of those will kick that slump to the curb. Torn meniscus in my right knee. Oh, yikes. Love watching people's TBR videos. Yeah, they're my favorite. <laughs> favorite to film, favorite to watch. Okay, settle down. Jeez. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Victoria. Make your TBR shorter. Yeah. That's what I that's what I do, sort of. A little bit of a combo. Went to Phoenix this time last year. So nice. Oh man. I have to read what I pull from the jar. However, I quickly DNF it. There you go. There you go. If it's not working, it's a great way to weed out my physical TBR. Good plan. Haven't purchased a book since last June and have been doing a months long unhaul on Pango. Fabulous. Way to go, Pango, for getting those books out of your house. All right, let's go ahead and get back to reading. Let's go to... 50. Let's go to 50, which will be 27, 26, 28, 28 minutes, almost 30. And I'm going to try to finish up this cabinet, see if I can get it done. And then I think that'll be it for other things that I can come and sit and really get down to relaxing for the night. All right. Happy, happy reading everyone.
<laughs> All right. Well, oops. My word. I forgot to put the ambient room up on the screen, only the sound. <laughs> Whoops. Ugh. I did a great job listening to the book, but that shelf is giving me troubles. I think I'm going to be done for it for the night. It's hurting my thumb with using the little Allen wrench screwdriver, but I'm on chapter six. And I have an hour and a half left to go. So did about almost 30 minutes there. Um, I'm still really liking Lou. So this series, the track series, you don't have to love track to love this book. It's just contemporary. Each book, Ghost, Sunny, Lou, Patina, they each focus on one kid from this track team. And they go in order. So you have to read them in order. Ghost is the first one. And it's so good. Jason Reynolds does a really great job at like capturing four different kids, like voice, like their, not the tone of their voice, but just their story in, in the books. Oh man, it's so good. So yeah, Lou is one of the sprinters and he's working on learning hurdles in this book. So good. I am not going to drink any more of this margarita. My stomach is not feeling so great. I'm wondering if the the soup was a little spicy. I wasn't that spicy. I don't know. I'm nervous because I had an upset stomach on Thursday and called into work and stayed home and everything. And I was totally fine yesterday, have been fine so far today, but now my stomach feels a little queasy. I'm like, oh no. And I've been eating like regular today, nothing major, but uh, yesterday I barely ate. Thursday I ate nothing because I didn't want it to come back up. But I'm hoping that I, I'm not going to get sick. We'll see. We'll see. I'm debating now if I don't feel good tonight, I could always just watch church online tomorrow. But I like to go when I don't have anything to do. But I'm not on the worship team and I'm not doing kids. So I could just watch online. But I think it'll be good for me to go. We'll see. We'll see how I feel in the morning. <laughs> I feel okay. Just I'm just going to drink water for the rest of the night, though. Um, Victoria also strained her left knee. Been over six weeks. Slight discomfort and moderate inconvenience. Boo. Um, oh, excuse me. Hi, Amy. If you're still here, reading The Lost Year by Catherine Marsh, so good. And I think he knows by Melissa Pullman. Does he? Does he know? <laughs> Kelly just got home, was excited to see Sprints taking a break from middle grade tonight, reading A Fine Romance by Susan Branch. It's so lovely. I read that as well, and it definitely made me want to go back and visit. The countryside, like that was some of my favorite bits when I went to England with my friend right after college. That was like my college graduation gift to myself and my friend. Excuse me. Hi, Kristen. Everybody just got home from church. Hi, Vaughn. Reading The Housemaid's Secret. Oh, your power just blipped. Boo. <laughs> Freezing rain. No. Excuse me, hiccups. Causing some downlines. Oh, no. Hello, hello. Hopefully finishing up two books tonight. The Making of a Marchioness and Echo Mountain. Oh, I liked Echo Mountain. I like Lauren Wolf very much. Catherine exhausted. Heading to bed early. Good night if you're still here. Thanks for hanging out for a bit. Got to 33% red. Also going to call it a night. Read 45 pages of The Riddle of Pencroft Farm. Really enjoying it. Love it. 24 pages for Stacy. Just watch some reels. Think I'm going to scrap reading for the night and watch some reality TV. Hey, I fully support that opinion <laughs> or that, that activity. I love reality TV. Why do I love it so much? It's so ridiculous, but I just love it. 
Shana, have you seen The Traitors on Peacock? It's such a good show. Fun if you ever played Mafia back in the day. It's kind of similar. What reality are you watching right now? Nothing but the truth made you angry. It was written in the 90s, but it so accurately reflects problems we teachers face today. Interesting, Jamie. I love when a book makes me feel things. Page 59 of Bookshop of Dustin Dreams. Glad I stuck with it. I'm enjoying it now. Oh, good. Finished Inside Out and Back Again. Yay. Finished The Love Wager in the middle of five books. Trying to work on finishing them before, all before I start anything new. Good luck, Amanda. I've been there before for sure. Read to page 136 in your book. Hi, Barbara. Started Frozen River. Really enjoying it. Barbara, did you enjoy your rainy day? I didn't even get out of my pajamas until about 2.30, 3 o'clock. <laughs> it was a wonderful day. We have had different variations in the stomach about going through our house. Oh, boo. I'm hoping that's not what it is, but it's possible. Go to church. Don't miss your blessings. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. That's the encouragement I needed. I will probably end up going. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. If I don't feel well, then I won't. But the trainers, he thinks it's too theatrical. Oh, man, I loved it. It is a bit theatrical. But you just, when you're watching, you just like skip ahead. <laughs> like, I just skip 10 seconds sometimes. And actually, I kind of skip through some of the challenges, too, because I just don't care as much about the challenges. I like the people drama. So I kind of fast forward a little bit here and there. <laughs> My home girl. I love it. Binge watch the traders last week. I haven't seen the rest of, I've only watched the first episode of season two. I need to, well, I don't need to, but I'd like to get back into that one of these days. As brave as you. I have that on my shelves. Yeah. He is really good on a, um, I just, I haven't read that one, but I do own it. Excuse me. Oh, how nice. Grandpa's 100th birthday. Happy birthday, Grandpa. I love that. That's amazing. 100 years. One of my favorite Survivor players plays season two of the U.S. version. Okay. Love Bookshop of Dustin Dreams. I wonder, Amy, if you're the one I heard about that from. Um, We were saying earlier, I haven't read it yet. I just hauled it recently. And... A couple have said that the beginning of it is a little slow, but then it picks up and you get into it. I loved the first season of Traders. Haven't watched season two yet. Yeah, I agree. I just kind of want to sit down and watch it through. So what are you? Okay, I see. You're, you've, I see another comment from you. Did enjoy the rain, read a book and started Frozen River. Love it. That is one I wish I could read again for the first time. Oh, that's cool. Read for the first time all over again. Love that. Finished when stars are scattered. So good. It is so good. I'm going to catch up on Vanderpump Rules tonight and maybe some Housewives. I haven't watched either one of those, so I can't chat with you about it. <laughs> yeah, it's. I, I think reality TV is my escape watching. Like, I don't watch a lot of shows, but when I do, I just want to not think. <laughs> so... I just watched silly TV. I did watch this week. What was it? Um, oh, when I was sick on Thursday, I watched the Lindsay Lohan, the new movie that just came out on Netflix, like Irish Wish or something. It was ridiculous, but it was cute. It was like mindless. I had my eyes closed for most of it because um, I just wasn't feeling so hot, but it was fun to have on. I, I had finished an audiobook in the morning of Wild Oak the day that I was sick, but I think I listened to the ending three, four, four times maybe because I'd get to the end. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I even, I think I fell asleep. Let me listen to it again. And then I do it over and I just kept doing it. But I was laying in bed covered in my blankets and I just kept falling asleep. I'm like, this is silly. <laughs> Finally, I waited till I got up to watch the rest of it or listen to the rest of it. I really want to try Love is Blind. Oh, yeah. It is bananas. I've watched the whole thing and the reunion. It's crazy. It's another one that's totally ridiculous, but kind of fun at the same time. Oh, man. 
I love it. All right. Well, let's do it's we've been on for 229. Let's do a full, well, 29 minute. Let's do another 30 minute sprint. Go to the 30. And this will probably be our last. Last. Oh, can I spell last sprint? Read till the 30. Because yeah. because I think I'm going to try to go to bed early. And I will put the ambient room on there this time. Sorry, I kind of messed that up. <laughs> Just started Little Liar by Lit my Mitch album. Oh, good, Veronica. I hope you like it. There we go. <laughs> um, Happy reading. I'm going to just sit and read this time, and I'm going to happy color on my phone. <laughs>
right, all right. I have just about an hour left of this book. I will probably finish it in the morning. Not tonight. Not tonight. Um, and I'm going to try to go finish that cabinet. <laughs> oh, get that done before bed. That would be really nice. How did everyone else do for that last little push? Last little sprint? Guys, when I first started doing sprints, I never did 30 minute sprints ever. <laughs> and now we don't, we do like 25, 30 all the time. Sometimes 35. <laughs> before you know it, we'll be doing an hour. Just kidding. That probably won't happen. Um, I have one final question after you tell me, how did you do? I would love to hear my eight year booktube anniversary is in April in the twenties, like April 21st, I think. And I always like to kind of get an idea of what would you guys like to see? I don't know what I want to do this year. Last year I did seven hour sprints. I thought it was the, my sixth anniversary. It was my seventh. Though, so this is my eighth. Oh my word. I don't know if you have any ideas. Feel free to share. I might put up a poll before that time comes around, but I just was thinking about it. So I'm like, let me ask. Yay. Glad. Thank you, Lisa, for being here, Teresa. Um, yeah, I just kind of, it was kind of last minute. Good night, Jennifer. Good night, Kimberly. Started some writer. Oh, yeah. Illustrations and photographs. More like a scrapbook sprinkled with essays. Oh, my word. That's so cool. I need to put that on my wish list so I remember about it. Some writer. Read 31 pages. Oh, good. I'm glad it's hitting the spot for you tonight, Nikita. A boy moves with his family to the family historic farm near Valley Forge. I was born in Valley Forge in Pennsylvania. At the hospital right there, Phoenixville, Pennsylvania. Um, as begins living history and mystery come into life. Very cool. Thanks, Katie. I do mostly feel better. My, my stomach is a little off tonight, but I don't know what that's about. Good night, Glenda. I got you. Just scroll through print Pinterest. <laughs> Thank you, Kathleen dabbled trying a couple different books. Good. Read another 30 pages. Now I want to go back to England, right? It's such a lovely memoir. Travel journal, I guess. I don't know. Thanks, Susan. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So close to the end of one book. Yay. I love sprinting as well. Pocket full of pine cones. I love vlogs. Doing good with reality watching. <laughs> Maybe a QA. and a I haven't done a Q&A in a really long time. So that's a good idea, actually. 26 pages in Mona Lisa vanishes. Thank you and good night. Spins are always fun. Maybe I could do a QA, and a like get the questions and then answer them on sprints. I loved having a people join in last year, too. That was really fun. Read a few more chapters. Thank you for being here, Judy. Reader for church row. I just practiced reading those out loud. The gospel reading is a chunker. Oh, man. Good luck, Libby. You'll do great. Um, I do sprints every other weekend, Sarah. So I alternate usually between Saturday and Sunday, occasionally on a Friday. But normally it's a Saturday or Sunday night. And every other weekend. So I do a vlog. So like next weekend will be a vlogging weekend. And then a sprint, vlog, sprint, vlog, sprint. I alternate between the two for the weekends. So in two weeks, I'll be back with more sprints. The recap flashbacks of favorite videos. Oh, that could be fun. Thank you for being here, Amy. <laughs> really enjoying it. Hope this has cured the slump. Oh, good. We'd love to do a really long one. I know I haven't done, maybe I could do like an all day. I know some people do that all the time. I just have never done that. We would have to fit in some longer ones for sure. Thank you, Kelly. Oops. Maybe instead of eight hours straight, 
two four hour sprints. Oh, that's a good idea. Do a readathon with eight prompts, each having something to do with each of those years. Oh, that's kind of a fun idea, Kim. I'll have to think about that. That could be cool. Thank you. Nice having company while I'm working. Squeaked out two chapters of my book. So tiny bit of progress. Sprinting with everyone. Oh, game night. That would be fun. See if the besties are around. That could be really cool. I did that one year for my anniversary. That's kind of how we all started talking with each other. So we all kind of were talking separately, but then that kind of brought us all together. Almost finished Mona Lisa. I like it, but I find the pacing a little choppy at times. Interesting. Older videos, book hauls. Excuse me. That's a good idea. I clearly need to go to bed. I can't stop yawning. Got to 50% of Wolf Hollow. Thanks, Kim. This is my first time doing sprints. Oh, yay, Shannon. I'm glad that you are here. Enjoy, enjoyed your first sprinting experience. There's pretty much someone doing sprints almost all the time, most evenings, and often during the day, a couple times a week. So sometimes I just, in the search bar on YouTube, I just search for reading sprints, and then across the top, I click live so that it shows me the ones that are live at that moment. And that's how I found some people. So it's kind of fun to do, even if I don't, excuse me, I just have had like hiccup burps. <laughs> oh goodness. So silly. Eight favorite books of all time. Could I narrow it down? Oh, the readathon idea would be fun. You're so lovely. Oh, thank you so much. Sprints of video. That's really kind. Yay. Love hanging out. All right. I like your ideas based on your favorite books from each year. That's fun. Okay. You guys gave me some things to think about, which is great because I have time. Um, thank you hang for hanging out and sprinting with me tonight. And I hope that you enjoy your Sunday. I am going to have a busy day tomorrow, but I'm excited. It'll be a good day. Uh, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you in two more weeks. And in two weeks, we'll be done with middle grade March. That's crazy. We just have a few more days left. All right. I love you guys. You're the best, the best of the best. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.